the people are doing in the community. And so we're here at this event to cover it. And I want to ask you guys, why are you supporting this? Well, go ahead. You. Well, because it's a worthy cause. And Whitley has done an extraordinary job. Anytime you reach out to the community and help those at risk or those who are disadvantaged and enable their dreams to be, become reality and not deferred, it's a wonderful thing. How can we help our young people? How can people watching today say, what can I do to help our young people? Well, they can get involved. They can get involved in community affairs. They can uh, engage in volunteerism. Uh, they can contribute uh, to try and uh, go in and serve as role models uh, to the young people coming up. Uh, we have an obligation, uh, as Janet would say, uh, uh, quoting a Hebrew uh, word, tikkun olam, to repair the world. And she wants to repair the world and help with our young people. I use two historic young people that everyone's heard about, mm -hmm. Anne Frank and yeah. Emmett Till. Mm -hmm. I wrote a play called Anne and Emmett, mm -hmm. and it's where these two children mm -hmm. who came from societies mm -hmm. that allowed them to perish, and I have them dialoguing about what they can do, what Excellent. we can do mm -hmm. to repair the world. Mm -hmm. And these young people, in repairing them, mm -hmm. we enable them Excellent. to repair the world. How has faith played a part in your crusade to help these young people? Oh, I've always been a believer in so many things. My mother taught me to believe in God and then to believe in myself and to believe in humanity. Anne Frank says, the young girl who perished in Hitler's Holocaust, when she wrote in her diary, she said, I believe in the goodness of people. And so do I. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a wonderful evening. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you.